morning and happy Easter. He is risen. Thanks for celebrating this special day here at Lakeview. If it's your first time here or your first time back in a while, we are especially glad to see you. Please make sure you stop at the welcome table to fill out a connection card and pick up a gift to thank you for being our guest today. One of our favorite things to do at this church is to come up with reasons to spend time together. And more often than not, that means food. We'd like to invite you back two weeks from today for a last name lunch. The idea is pretty simple. Just bring a finger food, snack, side, or dessert that begins with the same letter as your last name. Bonus points for creativity. Think Devil's Food Donuts instead of Doritos, or Bacon Bites instead of Brownies. Have some fun. With so many new faces at Lakeview these days, this is a lighthearted way to get to know each other and treat our taste buds too. We'd love for you to join us. Take out your phone and head to lakeviewcc.org central to let us know you'll be coming. Another way we love to connect at Lakeview is through life groups. We've taken a break for Easter, but most groups are starting back up this week. We have groups most nights of the week, including a new group learning about the life and teachings of Jesus through The Chosen. If you'd like to sign up for a group, you can do that at Lakeview Central in the lobby or on your phone at lakeviewcc.org central. Finally, check out our Soulmates for Life workshop in two weeks. Here are Pastor Brian and his wife Diane to tell us more. We'd like to invite all married couples to a workshop called Soulmates for Life. It's going to run on a Friday night and Saturday morning into early afternoon. It was originally scheduled for February, but we had a nice ice storm that got in the way, so we've rescheduled. A while back, we went to a workshop, and what we learned there helped us open doors of understanding in our own relationship. So we got trained, and now we're able to use that and share what we've learned with others. It's no secret that marriage is great, but also that it's definitely not easy. Absolutely not. And part of that is because we're so different. So for example, I'm an outgoing extrovert. I like to act quickly. I like to act decisively. And I, on the other hand, am more introverted. And I like to have space to be able to process, to think things through, and then eventually to arrive at a decision. <laughs> so you can see how that might create just a little bit of opportunity for conflict. But these differences, they're not due to some kind of defect in our personalities. They're part of God's divine design. He puts couples together who look differently, who look at things differently. So this workshop, and, and it's a workshop, it's not a class. It's about learning. You're not going to be lectured at. It's active. It's hands-on. It's experiential for you and your spouse. It makes use of an assessment platform. It's called Core Strengths. It's actually a tool that's used in the business world in all kinds of corporate settings. It's even used at the CIA. And what it does is it helps build what's called relational intelligence. Basically, it helps to understand what motivates people, what motivates you, what motivates those around you. We're going to integrate relational intelligence with biblical principles. It's going to open doors of insight and understanding to help learn how to bring out the best in each other. So we hope you'll be able to join us. Set aside just a few hours to invest in your most important relationship. And hopefully add some tools to your relational toolbox. Hope, Hope to, to see, see you there. there. Our Easter worship gathering will be ending shortly, but there's no need to rush home. The prayer room is open for you just outside these doors, and there's a photo booth to snap some pics with your friends and family. Thanks for worshiping with us this morning, and have a wonderful week.